So my name is Tina Roth Eisenberg. I'm actually a Swiss born and raised graphic designer. My most people know me as my Swiss Miss, which is the name of my blog and my Twitter handle. And this is actually really what it looks like where I grew up. So it's not just a, a smart branding move uh, to call myself Swiss Miss. This is my uber eccentric, super awesome, crazy aunt Hugi, who has taught me as a kid that A, you can live a creative, courageous life. She's an, an artist, a designer, a fashion designer. And most of all, very on Swiss, she has taught me that you can live a life and not give a shit what people think about it. Um, Switzerland is a country where we, did, we, we just grow up with an understanding that art and design is important. Our banknotes are dedicated to designers, artists, writers, architects, which I think is pretty amazing. But also, this is a typical uh, stack of wood you would see outside a Swiss home. The Swiss are so anal, so such perfectionist. It drove me crazy. Uh, there's no room for improvisation, so I just had to leave. So in 1999, I came to New York, and this is the quote that sums up my life. The best way to complain is to make things. Uh, I have started several side projects over the last 11 years that have completely changed my life and my career, and this is my all-time favorite quote. But the best part that has happened to me is that I had two kids. This is Ella and Tilo. Ella kicked off my career. She's been the biggest career catalyst that anyone could ever have. I started my design studio the day she was born, had, design, had lots of clients, hated it, realized when my son was born that I should do a client sabbatical, and I have never gone back. The most important thing I've ever done in my career is start a co-working space before co-working spaces were a thing in 2008. It's called Friends Work Here. Uh, it has completely changed how I approach life, how I approach my work. And Seth Godin sums it up. Who you hang out with determines what you dream about and what you collide with. And the collisions and the dreams lead to your changes and the changes are what you become. Change the outcome by changing your circle. Uh, my co-working space, the people around me have changed my circle. This is him speaking at a conference, a breakfast lecture series I started called Creative Mornings, out of the same idea that I want the creative community to get together in a completely accessible way. It started eight years ago here in New York, and we have quite magically grown around the world. We're in 158 cities, it says 153 on the site, but we're in 158 right now. We're growing by six cities a month. That's like a city every five days, basically. Um, it's an incredible, beautiful community that's entirely volunteer driven by 153 hosts around the world that then organize their own layer of volunteers. So it's like multiple layers of community that put on uh, these events around the world every month entirely for free. Uh, 15,000 people get together every month for free. And uh, I call Creative Mornings an engine of generosity. It's entirely based on the non-transactional, the notion of non-transactional giving. Uh, when you take money out of the equation, everything changes. It's not just a transaction, it's actually you enter into a relationship. And the best, the best comment we always get after the events is, after I see, you see first timers come in and you, they're all stiff and they think this is not real, there's a catch, they're gonna pitch us something, there's nothing. And then we get this feedback, it feels like a gift. And that's when my heart just uh, blows up a little bit. Anyway, uh, speaking of gifts, I also weirdly started another company, kind of accidentally called Tatley, temporary tattoos. My daughter will come home with hideous temporary tattoos. I figured I just gotta fix that. And I, I launched it as a side project, and then the second day I got a call from the Tate Modern Shop asking me for a wholesale catalog. I said, yes, of course, no problem, hung up. What is a wholesale catalog? catalog? I made one, now we have 16 people and ship millions of tattoos around the world out of Burham Hill. Um, it's unbelievably amazing what can happen when you fall into an industry you know nothing about because uh, your ignorance actually makes you question conventions that and nobody else will question, and uh, which is quite <laughs> what's been happening with Tatley. So I'm, I'm kind of doing a lot of things a little backwards. The thing that's really cool is that the art world has completely embraced us. We have partnered with pretty much every uh, prestigious museum under the sun. Um, and we've also been at the White House three times, so it's, it's quite absurd that I've now become a person that talks about temporary tattoos. The best thing we've ever done is uh, we opened up a temporary, temporary tattoo parlor, meaning a pop-up, which has gotten so much press, and I can't wait to tell my grandchildren I once owned a tattoo parlor. And uh, the biggest moment was when we had a, a segment on the Today Show, I watched it with my daughter, she was the reason why I started this. We both teared up and she looked at me and said, mom, please never, never, never sell Tatley, I wanna run it one day, because you're having fun every day. And fun is really a notion that goes through my work. This is my favorite thing 
of all the things I, I do at work. I have a confetti drawer. Every business needs a confetti drawer. And just the, the notion of sprinkling uh, the possibility of a smile into everything we do is really important to me. Thanks. <laughs>